Uh huh. You're gonna keep a speckled trout. Nice fish. All right, it's almost dark. I just pulled in to Port Sulphur, Louisiana, where Captain Sal Gagliano has his camp. He's been whacking the speckled trout down at Empire, so he invited me to tag along with him. First, we're gonna spend the night here. Look how pretty this sunset is. Beautiful, let's go check out the camp. What's up, man? What's going on? How are you? I was just getting ready to go up the elevator. I said, I think that might be him. Oh, you know, that's how you go up the elevator? Yeah. Really? How you been, man? Old age, man. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I can't go up the stairs for exercise. <laughs> right. But well, why do that? You got an elevator. We always got a full stock crab. Come on, man. <laughs> we always ball crabs. Because, I mean, man, all you got to do is call them up. That's there, awesome. Take them they dump them in here. <laughs> you got live crabs. <laughs> wow, look at that. What is that? A redfish? Probably a redfish. You catch fish off this dock? Yeah. Dude, he's got to be scared to death now. <laughs> I'm oh, hungry. You wanted it to. Oh, this is awesome, man. Look at this. Sal, this is this is super nice, man. There's the last of that sunset over the South Louisiana marsh. What an incredible place. Next time you see me, it'll be bright and early, actually dark and early. Tomorrow morning, we'll be heading out to catch some speckled trout. This bite has been fantastic. I'm really, really looking forward to this. All right, in summertime, you'll often have to deal with storms first thing in the morning, and we definitely had to today. Captain Sal and I had to dodge one to get to the fishing grounds, but now here we are. Sal just made a first cast, hooked the fish, he got off, but I definitely like our chances. Water looks really good. It's almost flat out here. We got rollers coming in off the Gulf, but that's it. This should be a good day. Oh, there we go. Get, oh, that's a good fish, Sal. That's a good fish, Sal. There he is. That one didn't get off. Uh, oh, you're fishing pretty deep, pretty huh? Deep. And Sal's throwing a TKO, one of his favorite baits, right, Sal? Yes, sir. Put him in the coffin. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna have to lengthen my leader. Easy to do with this Versamax knocker. Let's see if that's long enough. There he is. Oh! <laughs> now, Sal was saying. He fished out here yesterday and these fish are so fired up in the summertime that they, uh, a lot of them are getting off. Something you have to deal with. I felt like a decent fish, so. Yeah, they all been pretty nice. I'm curious to see how much they're going to shrink with the tide getting oh, oh. smaller every day. Yeah. I noticed the difference in the last two days. That's how you said uh, you've been catching some, some three pounders, huh? Yeah. When the tide's right, when you got a good range. No, I mean, uh, we caught some, uh, we caught one yesterday. Oh, you did? The day before, the fish were a whole lot bigger. Yesterday, I seen they, they shrunk. They shrunk a little bit. As the tide gets smaller, I'm right. I suspect they're going to get even smaller. Yeah. See if this one stays on. Yep. Big enough you don't need a measure. Yeah. Thank you, man. So Sal, this is just an oyster reef, right? Yeah. Now, how, how often this time of year would you say you fish reefs compared to the actual beach? You're right next to the beach. Right. The beach is right there. Congregate. I like fishing more of a shell bottom rather than sand. Okay. And since you're so close, it's really... It's good. the same fish, huh? Yeah. But you said you've definitely been seeing a lot of shrimp out here, huh? Yeah. See them skipping in the morning. It's been so calm, you can just watch the shrimp skip right on top of the water. Right. Along with the finger mullets. You see the finger mullets passing uh, right yep. there? Yep. Mm -hmm. And there's a fish. Oh, there's a fish. <laughs> see if I can get in the stage. So awesome. Going crazy! Nice. Beautiful trout. Beautiful trout. 
been so croaking nice mail. To have to measure them. Yeah. A little mail croaking. The bait has just been unreal how much bait they have been. Really? All down this west side. I don't know how they even hungry. Uh, the mullet, the single mullet, the pogey, the shrimp. Endless food options at the buffet. Why they would... Hit a piece of plastic. Piece of plastic. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we always bring live just in case. Right. Yeah, we do have 25 live shrimp in the well just in case we needed them to catch a few fish, but it seems like they're going to hit these TKOs with no problem. The water looks pretty good. Has it been looking like this or what? Yeah, the water's been, water's been good. The river's down, so right. the water's going to clean up all around. It's like the water is moving some, huh? Yeah, but it's not moving like it, it should be. Okay. Um, and I'll figure that with the, with the tide being weaker, weaker yeah. every day. Right away. Sal just put on a live shrimp. Took about three seconds, you think? Yeah, maybe four. Maybe four seconds. It's a little bit small. There he is. Oh, that's a beautiful trout. Get in the boat, Brad. Get him, Sal. Nice, good fish. Well, Sal, is that two shrimp, two fish? Two shrimp, two fish. That's, that's, uh, that's efficiency. Oh, you didn't give me a chance. Uh. Probably got mushrooms, that's a bad thing. Mm hmm. Yep. Oh, beautiful trout. Ah, he's gonna hit the tape. I think he's gonna make it though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's legal for sure. This dude, this dude was not gonna throw this hook. Come on, man. There we go. Nice, Sal. Oh, oh. Got him? Uh, no, he didn't come up yet, has he? No. Right, 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 right. Oh, look at that. Look at that. He fooled us. He fooled us. Legal keeper speckle trout. We would have bet money. A little male full of testosterone. We would have bet a lot of money, Sal. Yeah. Oh, Sal. I can't think of a whole lot of other things I'd rather be doing right now. Gonna be a feast tonight. Ooh, barely got him. That thread held together though. And Sal, you can comment on this better than I can, but it seems like last summer, the fishing was not all that good in June and July and really got good in August. Has that been true this summer or has it just been good all summer? This year, it's been good all summer. It has, okay. Uh, with the exception of really the, the last week of July where until now, I found that the, the fish are just really small. Not a whole lot of keepers. Okay. Uh, at least on this side of the river. Well, now, when did they get big again? Because you've uh, been catching well, some nice fish. I had been catching, you know, a lot of small fish over there towards the west. And I just moved down the, down the shoreline a little bit. And, and found some better fish? on top of the reefs okay. instead of on the beach. And uh, I feel like the fish have gotten bigger okay. on the reefs. We're not able to fish at the rigs anymore on this side because they pulled them all out. All right. And that's mainly where we'd be fishing for, you know, the nice trout this time of year. Right. But there's no more structure left. So. All right. So you got to kind of come to these reefs. I mean, you figure those fish that used to go there just kind of re relocated here? Uh, or who knows? No. no? Uh, the fish we used to catch out there are just a totally different class. Of so fish. even even consistently yeah. bigger than these? Consistent, yeah. Used to be. Nice. But it's been nice not to have to measure fish. Right. Uh, and Sal, when we were coming out of Delta Marina this morning, dodging our storm, we saw a big flock of diving birds. Uh, but you're not a big fan of fishing the birds, are you? No. Certain times of year, I find that the birds hold, you know, decent fish. But in the summertime, I, I try to avoid them. Although you can catch nice. Nice trout on the, some of the flocks that you find. Uh, mostly it's just... 50-50 shot. It's mostly catfish or undersized fish. Yeah. Huh? yeah. And the way the catfish bite's been going lately, I wasn't interested in the stuff. Right.
Tail walk, baby, tail walk. Wingman. This is a 2021 legal fish. It may not be a 2022 legal fish. Now, how'd you get it so deep, dude? I hit you right when that cork went down. Won't be able to fry up any of those uh, small fillets maybe next year. I uh, know, yeah, I think just keep your white trout. Sal and I were talking last night. We both really enjoy those 12 to 14 inch fish. They're not as much fun to catch perhaps as a 18 inch fish, but man, it sure tastes a whole lot better. Oh goodness. He's croaking on the way in. Sorry dude, you got fooled. You got fooled by the TKO. You lived a good life. You're not gonna die in vain. I'm gonna cook you well. Good thing he's legal because he ain't gonna live. So this TKO color I'm fishing is called Red Ice. It's similar to the Shrimp Creole Matrix Shad. It's clear with red, black, and silver flake. And I don't know what it is about this bait, but fish love it. <laughs> In the sun and ripped the rod out of my hands. I couldn't even see it. <laughs> You're a little less lucky. Bounced. He bounced. Keeper, keeper. Whitey. Whitey. You been catching many whiteys? No, not many at all. Uh, I caught one yesterday, and this, this year I probably caught maybe ten at the most. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I, I think it's a catfish if I had to guess. Oh, it's a foul hook trout. File hook trout. Oh, that's the best gaff I've seen. <laughs> I'd much rather that than a gaff, I'll tell you that. Got too close to that TKO, huh, dude? You thought you could hit it and spit it. But you could not. Ooh. Strong take down there. Testosterone. Yep, I remember that. Yeah. <laughs> I remember testosterone. <laughs> yeah, he ain't croaking, he's looking for his girl. Uh huh. Or he thinks you're hot. He wants to spread the seeds. Fishing just does not get any easier. Fishing on this west side out of Delta Marina. And Captain Sal says this bite's got several more weeks to go. So get on out here and do this if you can. All right, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe to the Marshman Masson channel on YouTube. And don't forget to click the notification bell to be notified whenever we post a new video. And until next time, if we don't see you in the marsh, we'll see you right here on Marshman Masson. All right, on Sal's recommendation, I'm making a stop for lunch at a place called Captain Larry's. I've never eaten here before, but Sal raved about it. Hopefully it's good, we'll see. Here we're gonna bun dress. I'll take an order of fries, please. And just a, you got a bottle of water? Yeah, I just got a bottle of water. So I'm in a bit of a hurry, so I got my food to go. I ordered a hamburger because I was in the mood for one. But while I was in there watching them make the shrimp full boys, kind of realized I should have gone that route. Let's see how the hamburger is. Definitely looks good. Truly an excellent, excellent hamburger. Very, very good. Thanks for the recommendation, Captain Sal. On the mark.